Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Nessus latest version on Kali Linux 2025.16. Open any web browser, also verify whether we have the Nessus comes as pre install application. See, you don't have Nessus application, okay? Then go to Google and search for Nessus download. Then click on this tenable. Nessus Essentials Vulnerability Scanner. Then here we have to register to get the activation code. So register the activation code is for later use. So If you want to receive the updates from Tenable, you have to select the checkbox. Otherwise, click on Get Started. See, thanks for registering for Nessus Essentials. Check your email for activation code. Okay, so we will check later. Then see here, we have the option to download the Nessus. Click on Download. Then see here, the latest release at the time of making this video is Nessus 10.8.4. Okay, then select the platform. Select Debian from this list that is Linux Debian select it see here also it is showing Linux Debian 11 12 or Kali Linux select it and click on download then select I agree see download started its size is about 71 megabytes wait until download completes once download is completed then we will install this Debian package see download is completed now go to terminal again, go to downloads directory, cd, downloads, ls, see here we have the Nessus Debian package. So control it, install it, sudo dpkg hyphen i, then give first two three letters of Nessus Debian package name and give the tab to autofill entire Debian package name, hit enter, provide the password of sudo user, hit enter. We have successfully installed Nessus. Now verify the status of Nessus, Nessus service. So run the sudo systemctl status Nessus D is the service name. Hit enter. See Nessus service is not started and it disabled. Even if you go to this URL, copy it, new tab, paste it, hit enter. See unable to connect. So Nessus service must be start to connect. So start it sudo systemctl start Nessus D. Hit enter. Now verify the status. See we have successfully started Nessus service. Also enable the Nessus service. Give to kit. Just give enable here. Hit enter. It is done. If again see we have started and enabled the Nessus service. So reload this page. Okay, click on this advanced. Then click on accept the risk and continue. Wait a moment, it is initializing. See here, welcome to Nessus. You can click on settings to configure the Nessus proxy, plugin feed, and encryption password settings before you start installation. Or you can select the register offline to configure an offline installation. So I don't want to select this one. So click on keep it as unchecked and click on continue and I want to use this start a trail of Nessus export then click on continue now we have to provide the email I have already registered so click on skip then we have to provide the activation code that we have received to the registered email okay go to email see here we have received the activation code so copy it and paste here then click on continue this is just confirmation Verify one more time and click on continue. Now we have to create Nessus administrator user account. So provide username. I am giving as administrator then provide the password. Then click on continue. Submit. Don't save. See setup is complete. See now it is downloading the plugins. See now it is initializing and downloading the plugins. 
see now we got the tenable nessus dashboard see here in the left side we have the folders like my scans all scans trash and resources as you see like policies plugin rules and terra scan okay if we click on settings see here the version of the nessus is 10.8.4 license host user are 0 of 16 okay see last updated information see plugins information license expires on this state and plugin set na false template version and activation code if you go to license utilization see 0 of 16 is used software updates if you want to enable you have to select this one then you have to select the update frequency if you want to disable select this disable then you have to select here and click on save okay plugin detail locally if you want to set the config if you want to configure then select this checkbox encryption password events okay see these are the events and also see here we have the options like advanced proxy server smtp server cs custom ca password management scan health and notifications if you click on my account if you want to change the password you can change click on here i see this is the administrator this is the full name of the administrator okay that we have created if you want to provide the email for this user provide it and if you want to change the password provide the current password and new password then you have to click on save okay now we'll see what will happen if you stop the necessary sudo system ctl stop ness d let's verify the status also in the background see here establishing connection please wait see we have stopped the nessus and its status is inactive or dead okay see it is still trying to establish the connection if you reload this page you will get the error like unable to connect okay so to connect to nessus dashboard the necessity service must be up and running so you took it control a now start it again hit enter now verify the status see necessary service is started you took it now reload this page again provide the username that we have created see we have successfully connected to tenable nessus essential service okay so we have successfully installed and configured nessus essentials on kali linux ls see this file is not recorded anymore so remove that rm give nessus first two, two three letters of the nessus debian package name give the tab hit enter we have cleared the space okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure nessus 10.8.4 on kali linux 2025 okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you